Come on, Torch Jim, Markham 3D, and welcome to the Sunday night show, or the Monday morning, Sunday morning, or Saturday night, probably, probably Sunday morning. It's evening here. <laughs> so we are continuing on with this, and I've started putting in all the um, facial stuff. Um, I don't think I put his tongue in yet. So that's something that needs to be done. I've got to do... So I've just been focusing on Joe. I don't think our chap, uh, Ruby over here, has any facials yet. Oops, come on. All right, so if I click on that, if I click on him, nope. Go into object mode, if I click on him and then press numpad, delete, decimal point, it'll auto zoom in on that. Um, let's just check, do I have facials on him? No, I don't have facials on him, so we'll probably do that as well. But for now, what I wanna do is there's a bit in here Hey, I think I stuffed up the motion capture because what I did is when I had the sensor, I think I had it too far on the back rather than kind of like here-ish, I think it needed to be. Um, I think because if I have it here, then he kind of like hunching over. So I think that's, yeah, I had him too far back. So anyway. Yes, that's what we're doing. So there's a bit here where he's touching the phone and I kind of just want to be able to line that up. And see this bit here is meant to be actually sitting in the car. And unfortunately that didn't record. So I got to do that a little bit later, but that's fine. I can do that separate scene. So right here, the chap is meant to be typing away on his phone. So um, I probably will come back in and reskin him a little bit because this arm here is a bit botchy. This arm here is a bit botchy. Let's probably first bring everything from his whoop, left shoulder and we'll bring that around a little bit. Um, I might even do the other arm a little bit more. Yeah, see, so this kind of like what I do in this whole block, probably from here-ish, is I will go into like a proportional editing, to, proportional editing tool and then I'm just gonna grab all those keyframes around and kind of just get it into the, the ballpark. Mr. Gamebot, hey. <laughs> all right. Let's have a look. Okay, so I have now completely forgot what I just said. Okay, let's first worry about bringing this left clavicle or shoulder. We'll bring that around. So let's find it in our NLA editor. Here we go. And what I can do is I can press tab to go into edit mode, which one of you guys told me about. I didn't realize that. Is is that right? Maybe. Um, um, Joe, yes. So this is Joe, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide everything. And then we'll start with one. Select all, G to the Y. And I'm gonna bring it up. So that's the arm moving upwards. Maybe we might move it up just a smidgen. There we go. Let's just zoom in just so I can be a little bit more. Uh, what happened to your VR project? Oh, that one. So I was just showing that off that I discovered that we can put Blender into VR. Um, so at the moment, I'm trying to finish off this one. And then definitely I'm going to be going back and trying to do some stuff in VR with Blender. And then I'll see if we can start rendering in 360 and see what kind of experience we can get out of it. I have actually made a VR short film before. Um, it was rendered in cycles, but what's his name? It was pretty, yeah. I didn't have the grunt to render it back then. Now I do have a bit more grunt, but we'll see. I've got ideas. I just want to finish this short film. Tell you the truth, I'm like I'm not too keen on the short film as much as I was, but I think that's because I was just I've been lazy about it and I've just held on to it for too long. All right, so that arms now come around a bit more. So if we it doesn't seem right, does it? So maybe what it needs to do is me drop down a little bit. He just seems a bit too stiff. So, I mean, that looks fine there, but we've got quite a bit of intersection. But I mean, we'll see how we frame the camera. 
and we might be okay with it. Might not have to worry about it as much. So this bit here we need to worry about. So let's now come into probably, I'm gonna select these bones. So we've got the upper arm L. Yeah, that's the one. I'm gonna get rid of these other ones. Hide, I don't need to see you. You're the one I care about. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. There we go. All right, so we've got these two bones I kind of want to be more concerned about. And so we can see. I will buy you out. And so this is the point where he raises oops, his arm. Um, let's just kind of bring all this up. I don't actually need to see this. Oh, you idiot. Okay, go that way. Go that way. There we go. And then I can, if I select everything and then dot, beautiful. All right, so looking at the keyframes. So this one here, what are you? That one there. All right, so I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab this. I just wanna see, what am I looking at? Okay, so that's this hand. So, we need to push it back that way. Wait, are you an ex-money? I am not, no, my good sir. I, I can't read Arabic, I'm gonna assume. I can't read that. Uh, so yeah, let's grab, so yeah, this needs to go back. So we're only going to be, this would be probably just a very short stream. Then let's grab the proportional editing. Let's just go G to the Y. So something, it's almost going to be like, back here. Okay, so that's, yeah, so this bit here is definitely no bingo. So let's go control Z on that. Let's kind of grab this, I'm gonna grab that. Let's go G to the Y. And we'll kind of just do something like that. Okay, cool. So the next thing, so we've got these, pretty much these frames here. Let me zoom in just so I can kind of just see the bulk here. Eevee is better. Mm. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's interesting. Like it all depends on how do you want to animate? Um, and because I know I want to animate in uh, blender. Oh, whoops. Right, let's grab. So about here-ish. Actually, let's have a look. What are we moving? So if I undo that one, G to the Y, what are you? Okay. So we want to bring that arm out for sure. No. And so here, so we can see that that point there to about there. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna kind of grab these keyframes here, put it about there, G to the Y. That actually worked really nice. Okay. Um, so we need to probably bring the arm back. Let's grab this one and have a look in here. So somewhere around here, G to the Y. Mm, definitely not the rotation, not the rotation I'm after, but it could possibly be that one. G to the Y. There we go. Okay. So that's the one there. 
So this bit here, let's kind of grab all this. Okay, I'm just checking whereabouts. All right, there we go. Let's just try this G to the Y and bring it all the way back down. That's actually not bad. It's going to do a bit of a crazy. Yeah, because I was all like, I've got this really big thing about swinging my arms around. Uh, phew. <laughs> no, no. Of course I'm not X-Maya. I'm not paying for that. Um, yeah. I haven't done much animation in, blend, in um, iClone. It's just I find that I understand bl Blender a lot more and I, to I don't want to learn another tool. Hey, Malcolm. I was almost... <laughs> hey, hey, sassy. I was almost about unscribed until you said no. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you got the thought about me being a Maya user. Hey, that's a little bit noisy. Yes. Well, that's after cleaning up the um, frames as well, uh, the stuff. Um, it's been good for animating movie cinema. Well, if you've got the time, go nuts. You have plenty of time. Graph area is so noisy, you should simplify it. So I have. So if I go done, and then I go simple, no, clean, clean keyframes, I've already done that. So you can see, yeah, I've done it. I could probably smooth that a bit more, which actually I might, but we'll go from there. Uh, Someone say my is the best, and Blender is helpless. They can suck a lemon. <laughs> All right, so back to here. So you know what? The kind of annoying thing is, is I didn't actually get the dude a phone. He just kind of like made something up out of nowhere, which is fine. All right, let me, I do like this now. So maybe what I'm going to do is rather than messing with this, I might just get the elbow and just rotate it up a little bit. Um, let's go G to the Y. Just want to make sure that's the right robot. Robot. <laughs> that's the right elbow. Let's select that again. Let's just go G to the Y. Yeah, cool beans. All right, so let's just kind of deselect everything, and we'll start with one. G to the Y. Actually, no, that's not going to work, is it? It's going to have to go up from the shoulder. So this one here needs to come out a bit more. So I'm just going to quickly do what I just did before and just find that last rotation, G to the Y. Okay, that's that one. G to the Y. No, I'm not going to have it. G to the Y. Well, that's that. Oh, you suck. What's the best way? Well, what if... Hide that one. What if... I'm just trying to find the best, easiest solution. That. Beautiful. Good. Okay. So this bit here, I'm going to grab this. Let's go. Come on. Select all that. In the middle, in the mixer, G to the Y. So probably just about, hang on, let's see that. G to the Y. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. Beautiful. Done. Let me break the sh break the wrist and walk away. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Spoken like a true mis Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, what type of shot are you making? So, 
obviously there's going to be there's going to be four cameras in this scene and i'm probably going to definitely need to get a shot of him punching something onto the screen but i think i might do that manually i might just get the gloves and the hands i'll just put the motion suit back on and just do the top half and that might be a separate scene um but it's all about cheating look at that 4.8 gig memory uh what's this down here um so if i come back up into here and press tab and even though we've got so much stinking high poly in here <laughs> sorry <laughs> let me just get back uh shift space except for this guy i don't understand why it happened but these two <laughs> <laughs> start off by pressing the space bar on the keyboard <laughs> so let's just have a quick squeeze and kind of like walk into the scene Business is business. Audio needs to be fixed, but anyway, that's... Okay, so I've got to fix his arms up. <laughs> There's only so much I can walk in my room. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's pretty much scene two. <laughs> um, <laughs> I forgot about that dance. <laughs> Oh my goodness i forgot about the dance i recorded this so long ago <laughs> oh my goodness that's terrible uh no both good at their own specialities yes all right so the next thing is <laughs> you idiot um so we have Armature Joe is done. Base tongue. Who's got the tongue? Where's the tongue? That's his tongue. All right, so let's let's get the tongues out of the way. And then I can hide it. If I hide it from here, does it hide from... Yes, it does, you little ripper. Okay, so from here, let's start adding in some tongues. Can I go into here? I don't want that. So if we come over into my NL drivers, no, dope sheet, dope sheet, dope sheet, dope sheet, dope sheet, dope sheet, dope sheet. There we go. And then we close that one. What? Uh, sorry, I'm just making sure okay and then from here we got no action that's fine we select it i'm going to go to joe because at the moment obviously if i don't put a tongue in then that tongue will stay put um you are joe ah so shape key editor yeah that's all right Why do I not have a Joe? Oh, Joe. Sorry, hang on. I'm just trying to work out what's going on. 
Joe. Tongue, here we go. Um, one. Push down. And then I'm just gonna put that back in place. So it lines up with this thing. And then what I gotta do is duplicate, 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 and we'll duplicate one more time. And then I delete these. It's a really weird, I can't actually just simply add in an, another NL later layer so what i do is i just duplicate let's go on to track one now shift a joe tongue two select track two now shift a joe tongue three that's why naming these um actions was Pretty smart on my behalf. So we're now with four, Joe, tongue four. Here, shift A, Joe, tongue, tongue, t t tongue five. Where's number six? There it is. Last one, three, shift A, Joe, tongue, six. Good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide that tongue. I'm going to hide the body. I might keep the armature there just so we've got it. From here, let's jump over into this chap and have a look. Okay, what do we got? Andrew D! Buddy, how you doing? Um, how did I motion capture this and how did apply it to rig? So I actually had the perception neuron software automatically hook into iClone 7. And so these characters are from Character Creator 3. They went to iClone 7. And then I exported from iClone 7 into Blender. Funky. With the facial motion capture, what I did is did the facial motion capture without the... Um, armature so no not with the body movements so i recorded them separately and then i brought in each individual clip and now the the facial motion is what i'm lining up so the second scene i was actually a little bit smarter because i got my audio done and then i pressed play um and then i recorded all the um, actions like that so that means that means the body has been pretty easy but now it's time to do this. Where are you? Who are you? You're this one. Let's close. Okay, and then we go find the audio. Okay, there we go. So here we go, uh, shift A. You are Ruby, face cap. I don't know what face cap you are. Hang on. Let me just open up my script. Poor Grace, I believe is the script. It is not. So let's go to restoration. And what I've done is I actually numbered which lines which. So we start off at Ruby 8. Okay, and so the problem is hang on, no, I'm doing it the wrong way. So um, when you're dealing with uh, the facial motion capture, uh, especially in iClone, the jaw isn't a shape bone. The jaw is attached to the jaw bone. So it's the rig that controls the mouth going up and down. So if you go back and you watch my film Terraformer, you'll see in the first scene that the guy is just talking like this. He's kind of just moving his mouth. He doesn't really move his jaw. 
So I gotta go backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that there. Oh, actually, I should move. No, no, let's get rid of that one for now. Let's go back to the rig. Here we go. I'm going to duplicate and delete. And then from here, what I can do is select this shift a Ruby FC, 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 FC. What is, oh, FC is facial cap. FC T is tongue. FC B is what I'm after. Let's have a look. Hopefully it's That's weird. I wonder why he's been... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so... This is the sucky thing is lining this up. I deleted something. What did I delete? Oh, I deleted... Okay, go back to body. Go back to frame one. Shift A, what did I delete? Should have a zero next to it. Should. Um, let's go this way. Shape key, shape keys, shape keys. I think it's this one. Motion zero zero one, because this character zero zero one. Key dot zero zero one. Okay. Shift A key dot zero zero one. All right, there. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so let's go back. I know, this is like the most butchiest way around. Nice shirt, where's the new one? I'm still too fat to wear it. <laughs> um, who's Joe? Joe is... Leo Joe. Uh, the voice of Joe is Mr. Ian Herbert. Hubert, sorry. Just trying to work out where's that big mouth movement. Maybe hereish. I'm trying to work out. I think that that up is a bit of an anomaly. Okay. Maybe that's what that is. I'm trying to find that key. There we go. I think that'll be fine. All right. And then, so pretty much if we now select our body I don't know. Let me just get rid of this stuff. Nope. I need this. And then let me just quickly duplicate that. So I, oh, you jerk. Delete, delete. And then I'm going to bring this over. From here, I can just got that mesh selected. I can go now shift A, <sighs> Ruby, F facial cap oh wait oops let's move it over one frame let's bring it back all right let's have a look that's better good boy all right so let's now carry on and find the next line
No, Joe, please. All right, so that's now going to be number nine. So we come over here into select the nipple, which is our armature. <laughs> um, into here, shift A. We are Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> Let's try again. Ruby FC. Have I got the wrong thing? No, no, I'm up here. F. Here. FCB. Oh man, there's just so much stuff. F. B. C. 9. Oh, wow. That's actually lined up pretty good. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Uh, now we select the body. We select the body. No, you dirty fat mole. Let's bring that back. Here. Sh Not shift space, shift A. Let's just line that up. Here we are. Shift A. You cheech. Uh, Ruby underscore FC 09. I'm sorry there is beard blood between us. I think maybe if I just move it over a smidgen. Nah, stuffed it. It's just kind of like the first mouth. No, there. I think if I can find help, I think that's a. Help. There it goes. Need your help. Oh, you can even see, you can even see that mouthing of the help. Your help, help. They are beautiful. Uh, I can't afford that. Is that the right one? Hang on. Let me just jump over into line 10. I can't afford that. Beautiful. All right. So first up first, let's go select our armature. Into here. Shift A. Oh, geez. Ruby underscore F C B 10. that one there I didn't even move it because I ruled right click and I put it back in place you dirty jerk okay select that we're gonna select our mesh again while we're here let's throw in here shift a ruby underscore fc ruby 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 there we go Jesus, all the way back here. What did I just do? Okay, 
let's try that. Does that sound right? Yeah, that's not bad. That's a weird twitch. I think I think that's something to do there. I think if we like kind of like look. I think that might have been um the motion capture suit like wigging out for a frame. Okay. Virtual designers, welcome. Head cramp panther. I love that name. <laughs> I, I did see the tweet, but I didn't uh, pay attention to it. I can't speak Russian. I want to say Anna, but that's probably not Anna. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, and I've got one more line. Where is it? I, th I think that's the last line. Let me just quickly bring up the script. So from here now we've got our mesh. Let's just, I'm just gonna click here. Let's go here, let's go shift A. We're on Ruby underscore FC, which doesn't help 11. And then I'm gonna click on the armature. Select here, shift A, Ruby underscore FC, boo we come down to 11. All right, so now we can kind of move everything around together. Okay, so we've got a fine. Maybe here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, can't dance, ain't got a chance, put the lights out. <laughs> 10 points for anyone who knows where that's from. The video is a little bit old now. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, so there we have it. It is coming along. There is just so much stuff. All right, so from here, I'm gonna hit save before we stuff that up. Let's kind of bring up the project files. There's one thing I wanted to do, which I haven't done for a while, which is really annoying. Markham 3D, short film, The Racer. It's changed since then. I still don't know what the title is. Okay, location. No, we want assets. Uh, I'm trying to work out which one it is. I'm, I'm assuming it's this one. 62 meg for this file far out oh that's why because the character's in here so the car has had a few upgrades since last one but i want to check it's got it's all right groups okay that's fine let's go shift s so let's go open up the garage scene because i actually want to put in the correct stuff so if i go Location, garage. All right. So now we're here. Cool. I'm just trying to work out what, what have I got? Where are you? What is this thing? This is called race car A. But you're not updated. All right, let's go. What I'm gonna do is select the car. Shift S cursor to select it. And then I'm going to delete it. File. Link. Into the assets. Race car V2. Collection. Race car A. Beautiful. And now we've brought that car in. What I can do now is select that. What? 
now I remember this problem. So I got this problem here with this mesh. I don't know what it is. It's not in here. Alt H, it's not there. That's, this is the rig. This is the car. Yeah, I got this random little Okay, well, let's try the collection of car. So, no, I need the floor. Let's delete that. Um, let's just come into layout. Just make life a little bit easier. Uh, press zero. No, press numpad five. File, link, car. Good. All right, there we go. And so now that car is actually up to date with the correct stuff. Let's kill the computer for a sec. So I'm just going to jump into Eevee. Let's just have a quick squeeze of what it looks like. Okay. So the materials are missing, which is fine because I've had to kind of um, bounce between computers. Um, these materials are all from Extreme PBR Combo which is fine. Let's go back into here, file, external data, find missing files. Where is my thing? D drive, blender, material library. There we go. Um, user library. Nope. 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 Back this one. Nope, this one. So let's just, it's gonna go through and find all those missing files now. Anyone got any other questions as we're plopping along doing all this and hopefully the stream doesn't die on me. Let me have some water. Feeling thirsty. I've got an orange bottle today. We don't have the green cups as it interferes with the green screen. Finally, after many, many months. <laughs> Hurry up. Don't crash. Just do it. Find it. Do it now. Get to the chopper. Um, so yeah, I have... Oh my goodness, I got three weeks to finish this thing. So I only got a few more things to fix up. Um, I need to get... Um, Joe... Joe... To be sitting down in the car and he turns the ignition... And then the car turns on and that's kind of like the end of the film. Um, what else do I need? I need to do facial motion capture for all of Leo's lines. So I've got to kind of uh, mimic Ian Hubert's face. Um, once I've done that, the film is predominantly finished. I think it might still, it might need work, but you know what? I just want to get it out now. Because I want to start the next project. I've got plans, once again. Could not find. I don't care. As long as you found the other stuff. Uh, let me just check. If I go into render view, hopefully it'll find all the materials. And we should be hunky-dory. No pink. Beautiful. So let's now just control S, save on that. Let's come back into here. Control S and save on that. File. File. Open recent. Garage. And then we should see that all the pinkness is gone. When I click on the EV, it'll quickly calculate everything once again, please. That was weird. Sound like a tap dripping and there's no tap around me. There we go. So now we've fixed up the materials. So what happened is all those links to the materials were all broken. I do like the front end. It looks nice. And so from here, what we need to do is press. Um, so we need to add in the rig. Because at the moment, the rig's not there. So if I go spacebar to search, or F3, or if you're on your laptop, FNF3. Um, let's type in proxy. Make proxy, armature. Yeah, suck a lemon. And then from here, I can, oops. From here, I can select this now, pose. And then, because we rigged up the car, rotate XX. Oh, there she is. A wonderful engine of ingenuity. 
uh, rotate ZZ. And it's kind of like that. So I think I probably will put the motion capture suit back on to do this final bit where Joe kind of watches Leo walk and then Joe will kind of step around the door, sit in the car. <laughs> car turns on, end of shot. Mm. Ew. Sorry, spilled some water. Da -da 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 -da. Hang on. Do you actually like materials? Yes, I love it. So pretty much all these materials are everything that came with Extreme PBR, except for these grungy things on the ground. I can't remember where I got them from. I might have even made them. I'm not sure. Um, but those are mine. <laughs> uh, when I tried to use tiles, for examples, I found they are looking ugly and went back and went back to downloading textures. I mean, this is all tiled. So sometimes, yes, I think you, you need to have a little bit more playing. Um, what you can do is you can adjust, adjust the blending where that option is off the top of my head. I don't know. Funny enough, Andrew, I don't know if he's still here. It was actually in the stream just before, but there is an option to blend. I know that. Um, but yes, I use it quite heavily. All right, so that's looking good. I actually really like this scene. It is looking nice. Why is that not in the main scene? What's going on here? Why can I not select stuff? Have I got the wrong? Ah, that's why. It's in post mode. Okay, so what so this scene if we come over here into object data and we have a look at collections garage scene if i click on this that is not in the garage scene so let's press plus on that oops add to collection and this is garage scene everything else so what we need to do is start filling up this space with just a whole bunch of jargon I was semi thinking maybe like putting it right here, this model. Let me just bring it up. This is available on my Patreon. Markham 3D. No, 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 it's in here. Hang on, sorry. I'm just trying to find it. If we go into speeder bike, I think it is. How would I use? Oh, okay, him. So this is, I'm thinking of, you know, to give it that um, futuristic love. I might throw this in the scene somewhere. What the heck? Where's my light? Let's go shift A. Let's just add some lights really quick. Uh, point light. Let's go G, put it up like so. Uh, this one here will be a lot stronger. Come over here, buddy. This one here, let's bring that up to about 200. This one here can be uh, 400. However, it can have a slight blue tinge. And this one here can be <laughs> 300. I want a red tinge. But this one here, yeah, probably should be a lot bigger. There we go. So maybe what I might do is actually put... Why am I in cycles? Dude, Evie. Let the materials just recreate really quick. So yeah, I might actually put kind of this parked, maybe at the front. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon I should kind of like put it just here-ish or something? just to give it more of a sci-fi film, because there's a line in there, the, the the combustion engine has been around for centuries. And should I just put another element in there? But I don't know if you'll see it, though. 
I mean, technically I can move this box and put the bike here-ish. And then I could have, what's his face? Leo leaning up against it. Uh, the tiles. Uh, I haven't actually used the tiles. I mean, they look like, they look half decent. Mm. I mean, it depends how you use it. I mean, if you're putting on all these, I don't put displace map on normally, um, just cause that'll slow down stuff even more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, that is looking pretty schmick. I am fairly chuffed with that. Definitely, I just got to put in some more parts in the back. What's the time? 10 past 10. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to think. All right. So we've done a bit. I will try and do the... Uh, maybe on Wednesday, we'll do the facial motion capture for Ian's character. Um... It's just, it's going to be me just talking to myself for probably most of it. Let me just quickly go scene one raw. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Let me just don't save that. Save that. I'm just going to close that. So yeah, I got to kind of just start watching how he does it. So Ruby, you told me the card be ready. Car be ready by now. Yeah, I know, Leo. This car is meant to be doing the rounds, rounds by now, by getting now. up for auction. <laughs> yeah, I know. We are losing Simple. money each day. I'm losing money each day, not you. I put just as much as you did in. Yeah. So yeah, I got to kind of mimic the way he does it a little bit. I mean, I can always put my own flair in because it's me. Um, but we'll probably be doing that. What are you doing here? I'm here to help Ruby get the job done. I told you not to call him. No call worries. Him. I'll just leave. No, joke. Yeah, I didn't realize that involved stabbing your business partner in the back. <laughs> anyway, let's leave it at that. I got so much work to do. Um, let me just quickly show you. I will show you something else that I've been working on. Maybe Greeble ship. And slowly working on this kind of like when I've got a little bit of time. This is my Greeble ship. Now, originally it was going to be kind of like a, um, go Eevee. it was going to be kind of like a class, a Titan class or something like a really big ship. Um, but I'm probably going to change that now to be somewhat smaller. Um, cause I actually like this. I don't think, I don't think the, um, the scale is right. I should, you know, if I want to make it bigger, I need to go in and put even more greebles over it. Um, this is all part of my Greeble pack, and then blah, blah, blah. and so it's kind of just lining this stuff up. Definitely got to come in here and start changing some of the colors around. Um, however, we will go from there and see what happens. If you know what I mean, yeah? Pimp Nizzle. This, um, this texture. So this is the one of the textures that I've created. And you can see it's not too bad. Like, you can see that it's repeating a little bit, but I mean, it's pretty small along here. I think what I need to do is add in a column, a mask map. And then what that'll do is it'll allow different color textures. I know Mr. Price did something on uh, tiling textures a little while ago. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I do remember watching it. But yeah, so it's just kind of like, I'm going to add more pieces and then that'll break up the way those textures come. Um, cause it's all off object data. I think I don't know. Let me just check what the scales are. So that scales one. That's okay. Oh, I must be going off the UV map. Ah, suck. Actually, I thought the scale was kind of weird. You reckon? I think it needs to be small. Like, I ended up putting in this kind of like docking. Um, but if I go F12, let's do, oh, uh, I'm sorry. The stream is going to go haggly for a sec. If I go F12.
Let's just stop right there. <laughs> My computer can't handle streaming and rendering at the same time. So you can see it does look pretty good. I put in some of the ambient occlusion in there as dirt. So it does give a good effect, but it needs a little bit more work. Anyway, let's leave it there for tonight. Dang it, now I've got 24 people. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you can, help me out, get me up to 24, 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, I'm hopefully having a little bit of an early night because I'm going to get up at 5am and hopefully, hopefully we'll see if I wake up um, to be on the Blender Nest podcast show. So go check uh, check that out. Um, anything else? No, nah, that's it. So Wednesday, I'll probably jump on and we'll do the facial motion capture for Ian's character. I will probably through the week do an initial render and then bring that into Vegas and kind of start chopping it up, this, that, and other. Um, call in my sound design guy to start thinking about sounds and show him what the, the, the film is, the beats, and give it to him and have him break it apart. Because last time I did that for terraformer i gave it to him and a few other people and they told me yeah, work on this this blah blah, blah 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 so it's good always have fresh eyes look at your work because you're probably wrong <laughs> it's the best that's the best advice i'm going to give you um i think that's what got me through to winning lights camera action this year is I actually sent it off to a few people and say look can you view this I was I did the stupid thing again. I rendered in cycles. So for those of you who don't know, Lights Camera Action is a short film festival here in Canberra, where you got ten days to make a short film, and you got ten items to use around the local area. I rendered in cycles, which was a hundred and thirty hours of rendering in ten days. That didn't seem, you know, I got to animate and all that, and I didn't have. The motion capture suit back then so actually no what did i do i used breckle no did i use breckle i can't remember what i used i think i used glycan for that but anyway yes let's leave that oh my goodness i will talk to you guys on wednesday please make sure